evaluate 6 times 3 fourths squared minus 7 eighths to the 0 power. We need to remember our order of operations. We start with parentheses. There's nothing to simplify inside of the parentheses, so that step we don't need to do. We do have some exponents, so that's what we'll do next. We will raise 3 fourths to the second power, which means we will multiply 3 fourths times itself. And we have 7 eighths to the 0 power. Any number to the 0 power, no matter whether it's a fraction or a decimal or a whole number, any real number raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. We learned that back in another section. So let's write what 3 fourths squared means. It means 3 fourths times 3 fourths. And anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So now we have finished our exponents and root step, and now we need to do our multiplication and division. We have a multiplication part right here. We need to write this 6 as a fraction in order to multiply. Any integer can be written as a fraction by writing it over 1. We need to multiply that times 9 over 16. We see we have a common factor of 2 in this numerator and this denominator. So we will divide 6 by 2 and get 3. And 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. Now we will multiply our numerators together. 3 times 9 is 27. And 1 times 8 is 8. So now we have finished our multiplication step. And now we need to do our addition and subtraction. Notice we have 27 eighths minus 1. We need to write this as a improper fraction and we can write that as 1 over 1. 1 over 1 is equal to 1. So now we need to find a common denominator in order to subtract. The common denominator of 8 and 1 would be 8. So I need to write this with a, both of these fractions with a denominator of 8. The first fraction's denominator I didn't change, so I don't change the numerator. This denominator I multiplied by 8, so I need to multiply the numerator by 8. So 8 over 8, isn't that equal to 1? Yes. So now we are going to subtract our numerators. 27 minus 8 is equal to 19 over 8. This is our answer as an improper fraction. We can change to a mixed number by putting the numerator inside of the division sign and putting the denominator outside. 8 divides 19 twice with 3 left over. Our remainder is our numerator and what we divided by is our denominator. So this is the answer as a mixed number, 2 and 3 eighths.